Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wales. A uh, little bit of a last minute trip out here. I feel like they always are whenever I come out, just in South Wales today. Uh, the plan today is actually just to test out a new to me 4x5 camera. I've actually had it for like six months now. It's made by Horseman, but uh, I haven't used it yet. And next week I'm actually going to Snowdonia to shoot some 4x5 color film. So I really just wanted to get out, you know, new gear, test it out, make sure everything's good before I go and shoot with it there. Uh, so I'm actually out at this location that I shot at in a previous video. It's these old coal tips. You might remember I had the Intrepid out here. I broke the ground glass at the end of the shoot by accident. So I wanted to come back and, you know, try my luck again. And I figured this could be a good place to start the day, see what happens. You know, it's 12 o'clock, I got about four hours of light, so uh, get working here. And then also in this video, I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity to also talk about one thing that I think uh, is really important, this question that I think photographers should ask themselves and revisit often. So uh, we'll dive into that a little later as well. But right now, I think uh, we're gonna get working. See what you can do. There's a tree up there that I like quite a bit, but this is the most interesting one of these tips just because of the lines in it. So I might try and work something with this first. So about half an hour has passed and I'm kind of struggling just like I did last time here. Um, I think I may have found an image. It's a little bit simplistic of a composition, which I don't know if it's a bad thing. Um, I'm kind of back and forth between it. You know, I really like how the, the contrast with these coal tips but then I'm you know searching for something else to put in the composition and it kind of feels like it's getting gimmicky so I think I'm just going to shoot a frame I got four sheets of film get the ball rolling at the very least this could be one to test the camera and then go uh maybe switch up locations from here tough spot it's actually crazy it's like one quarter after one and the light is like nice <laughs> it's getting low already which is excellent and also kind of scary these days are so short now okay so the camera that i am shooting with is by a company called horseman i'm sure a bunch of you are probably familiar with horseman and this is the 45 fa and this is a camera that is very appealing to me just because it's nice and compact but it's also solid so i've used wood cameras in the past uh, a couple different models and wasn't the ones I was using I wasn't a huge fan of uh, they always just seem to never be like 100% rigid so this thing super solid I love how everything just kind of clicks into place I'm not going to go into too much detail about the specifics of this camera um, in this video but it's been nice I mean I haven't shot with it yet but everything about it I quite like so uh I think for this shot, I have two lenses with me. I have a 150 uh, Topcon, which is a Horseman lens by Topcore, and then a uh, 105 by Fuji, a little wider, 105 5.6. And I think I'm gonna roll with that. And I've never actually shot that wide on 4x5. I'm usually like a 135, 150 type of guy. So uh, this 105 I've been enjoying. It's kind of a nice, nice switch. The cool thing is, as well, on this camera, is everything is geared. So, rise and fall, and tilt. It's quite nice. Anyways, got my frame here. And I am going to check focus, maybe a little bit of tilt, and then I'm just gonna wait. I wanna get some of these clouds back behind uh, the coal tips here. I'd like to have that sky mostly clouds if I can versus the blue sky and then wait till the sun's behind the clouds here because I just want some soft light on this. I don't want any uh, direct light. It's also pretty frontal right now. So I'm gonna do that and uh, wait a little bit. I would love to get to another spot after this. So hoping we can make this happen pretty soon. This sun is driving me, it's driving me insane. From a production standpoint, shooting video. Just full of complaints today. So I'm shooting HP5. 
We go F22, a little bit of front tilt. And I think I'm just gonna meter this incident. No spot today, because once that sun is behind the clouds there, it's pretty even. So this sun, it's so funny with this sun. There is literally this like line of clouds and it's just behind them. It's coming out like every 10 seconds. Oh, this sun, come on. I'm gonna have to pull the plug on this shot if that doesn't go away. Cause I have a massive shadow in frame here. There it goes, <laughs> sort of. This is so funny. I don't want to move that camera right now, but I wish I could show you guys this because it is like, it's taunting me. It's just, it's like, looks like it's going to go away. I'm going to sort of just Hail Mary this. I'm going to have to. Cross the old fingers. So just like the first trip out here, not entirely thrilled with this image. I love the subject. The composition just feels lacking with a lot of dead space. And this is a location that, you know, has a lot of potential, just need to return with the right conditions. Regardless though, sometimes you just need that first photograph to kick things off. <laughs> it's back. Well, I shot a frame. I have no idea if that's gonna work. Metering was uh, kind of off the cuff. Everything was off the cuff. This location is starting to frustrate me, so we're gonna pack up. And we're gonna get out of here and go somewhere else. Maybe something where we can set up. Oh, we don't have this one behind our back. Okay, running out of light quickly here, but I came across this interesting scene. Love these old churches here throughout Wales, and this one's quite interesting. It's in this little village, and looking this way, there's like the pub power line and stuff. So with the 150, a little bit of front tilt as well. And I'm gonna shoot this at F32 just because I have this, these kind of gravestones here in the foreground and then obviously some stuff in the background. So even with the front tilt, gonna need a decent amount of depth of field. And I think we'll meter and shoot. The light is pretty even. So I'm just gonna use incident meter. And just for fun, maybe I'll spot this. Okay. Incident meter actually matches, which it should, a spot reading off this cement here. We're good. I really like this scene and this composition, but uh, this image feels just a little bit flat. But luckily, conditions changed just like earlier in the day, this time to my benefit. Ooh. The light just keeps getting better and better. I got these frames loaded, so I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. It's amazing what the subtle change in light does to just give this image some depth. And I really like how this one turned out. And I actually think I'd like this scene even better in color. So 
probably one to return to. So back to things in a second, just have to quickly talk about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you're a photographer, a website is a really great way to bring together a collection of work just to see it as a whole and also pair and sequence images. And Squarespace is a great platform to do just that. They have a number of clean and professional templates to choose from, and it's incredibly simple to use. You can just click and drag to sort your images and easily add features like an online store where you can sell prints, photo books, and other things like that. So head over to squarespace.com today for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use the code Kyle McDougall to save 10% off your first order. Welcome to day two, not in Wales. <laughs> Basically ran out of light after that last church shot and uh, had to pack it in, but I had one sheet of film left, which I wanted to shoot just because I develop in pairs. So we'll have four sheets that we shot. So I came back out basically to my backyard uh, this evening. I came out this morning uh, for some fog, which disappeared when I got out here. So I left, I'm back again, and I'm hoping I'm gonna get a little bit of a dramatic sky wait till twilight or something, see how it goes. Also wanna talk about this uh, question that I mentioned briefly at the start of the video, so we're gonna do that as well. I think right now I'm going to get the camera set up, get the composition set up. I'll walk you through that, and then we'll chat, we'll wait, and then we'll shoot. So I might actually get lucky tonight. I was basically hoping that uh, all these clouds were gonna roll in, and it looks like they might, so. Uh, <laughs> Fingers crossed. Going to shoot this uh, tree with the 105, I think, which is a little different. Normally I would have gone with the 150 and been back further, but you know, this it's so unique with all the branches and like a little bit of leaves left. But I like the idea of like getting a little closer with a wider angle and uh, almost looking up at it a bit to exaggerate it. So we will see how it looks. So I, I don't know what to expect from this image. I'm like optimistic. And it also maybe feels like one of those ones where I'll look at it afterwards once it's developed and be like, I made some bad choices. The light is really nice. <laughs> Beautiful evening out. This is what it's all about sometimes. Honestly, I think I talk about this quite a bit in my videos, but I'm excited about the image making part of this, but like, you know, why else would I be out in this field right now if it weren't for this camera just standing here? You know, the light is beautiful, pretty peaceful, except for the park over there and the crazy kids every now and then. But I mean, for the most part, this is what I love. The older I get too, this is more what, it, what it's all about. You know, sometimes just like chasing images, chasing results and like having all these like goals and expectations and stuff, you can get frustrated and then it's just like you sacrifice this, which is so important, honestly, it's beautiful. So I'm ready to shoot. All I have to do is meter. I, I think I am going to leave it um, wide open. I mean, it's a 105, so I'm, it's not like I'm gonna get a ton of separation, but usually I would shoot this at like F22 or uh, F32. So I'm gonna go against that. Shoot this wide open, see how it looks. Also, this uh, last holder that I'm using, I loaded both of these sheets like three months ago, and I did shoot one a while ago, so I'm, 94% sure that there's a sheet of HP5 in here, and I really hope there is, because uh, this is a scene that's pretty cool. And I get that last little hint of light. I'm gonna keep it really easy too. It's definitely not a high contrast scene, so I'm just gonna meter it with the bulb incident meter, and we're getting a 60th at F. 5.6. 
and I have it ISO 320, 60th. Okay. After seeing this image, I'm glad that I decided to come back out to this location after the failed attempt in the morning. I just love the way that the 105 rendered this scene and overall just the mood and the feel with the soft evening light. Definitely a nice way to finish things off. Cool, what a fun, you know, two days. I love coming around here close to home and shooting. But this question I wanted to talk about, I kind of hinted at it there just a minute ago when I was talking about the importance of uh, the experience. And it actually might be the title of this video, I haven't decided that yet. But this question is just, why do you make photographs? And I think this is something that's really important and that photographers should ask themselves often and also just be very honest and get very clear on. And the reason is, especially for those who are like newer to photography, if you're in like your say first six months or first year or two years or whatever, it can be easy to lose track of what you want out of this. And say as you start and as you gain more experience and kind of more passion for this, I think it's easy, especially nowadays, to feel like you need to make photography into something more than what it already is for you. Say, you know, make it into a business or a side hustle or grow a social media following or start a YouTube channel or sell prints and ex have an exhibition, sell books, all of these things which are great and there's nothing wrong with any of those whatsoever. But I think it's also important to mention and to remember that none of them are necessities. You don't have to do any of those things. And I do like understand that it's natural to want to try and like push yourself and challenge yourself and grow and stuff like that. And that is great. And like I said, you know, there's nothing wrong with any of that. We're all going to want different things. But doing something because it brings you like happiness and enjoyment and fulfillment, that's a pretty damn important reason. And in my opinion, one of the most important reasons. So I think it's important to get clear on why you make photographs and just be okay with whatever the reason is and don't feel like you have to turn it into all of these different things that maybe aren't right for you, or maybe they are. But anyways, I wanted to mention this just because it's something that I try and think about often. For me at the moment, photography for me is about the experience, about enjoyment, doing it because it's something that makes me happy, having experiences like this these past two days. It's also been something that has uh, been a career for me, this in filmmaking for a long time now. And it's also something that I, I like the challenge of and I like to push myself with. Uh, and that is kind of where I'm at with it right now. And I expect that maybe it'll change a little bit. It has changed kind of throughout my career, not on like a grand scale, but it's certainly kind of taken different shapes. And there's things that I try and be a lot more, I guess like, mindful of like evenings like this and just how important the enjoyment is and how that can be something in itself so anyways why do you make photographs i think this is such an important question it sounds so simplistic and like maybe it really doesn't matter but ask yourself that just be really clear and be uh just okay with whatever your answer is if you want to do this purely because you love it that's why you should do it and don't feel like you have to do all these other things. Anyways, I think I'm gonna pack it in, get home and have some dinner. I hope you all enjoyed this one. And I'm looking forward to taking this camera out to uh, Snowdonia next week. I enjoyed using it a lot. Nice and simple, this finder's great. And as long as I didn't mess anything up, maybe got a couple images out of this. Anyways, that's it. We'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.